Okay then, so, it's finally here. A game that I was looking forward to all of last year. And unfortunately it didn't quite manage to see the light of day, especially with... What was it? Not Obsidian. Was it Obsidian? No, Obsidian's actually who made it. Who was it? Eh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> who was it? Who went under? Who was making South Park? Whoever it was, they went under. It was the ones that made Saints Row as well, I just can't remember the name. It's... I feel bad, but yeah. They, oh, well, they're going under. We didn't really know if this game was ever going to see the light of day, but it's finally here. South Park, the Stick of Truth. Obviously, it's only just come out in EU. It's been out for a couple of days in NA and Australia. It's a bit unfair. This is the PC version, so I'm not sure if that means that the EU scenes are, well, censored or not, but I guess we'll find out. So let's have a little look. South Park, the Stick of Truth. Pretty excited about this one. Weapons and costumes require you to have a certain level to equip them. Nice. Whatever. So this game is locked to 30 frames a second, but that's okay. I think that's something to do with the animation style or something. Or so I've heard. Deep well, we'll the find lands out. Of Zaran, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attack. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. One pretty powerful stick. Typical South Park style. I am... Well, I've watched most of South Park episodes. I would say I'm a, quite the fan, I guess. Though I don't own in the merchandise and stuff. So here we go, customization time. What the hell's this? Well... Honestly, we'll just go for the normal colour, I think. That seems to be the colour everyone has, so... Apparently the customization in this game is pretty good, and by the looks of it, I would have to agree. So what kind of hair do we want? Oh, that looks pretty weird. Interesting hairstyles. So obviously they get more feminine? Oh my god, do we want the mohawk? The green mohawk, that's pretty beasty. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. What kind of hair do I have in real life, you ask? Well... Probably more like that kind of thing. Bit shaggy, bit messy. Not very well kept. But I think we will go for we're gonna go for a goth look. I don't know, man, it's too hard. Let's go for this weird one. Okay, now we pick a colour. Oh my word, the colours are so extraordinary. I kind of like the dark purpley colour. Let's go for this bluey. Cool. Clothes, what do we want to wear? We've got a hoodie, scarf. Hmm. Little T-shirt. I do find myself wearing T-shirts quite a lot, but you know. Hopefully the customization won't take too long. I know it's pretty extreme. Hmm, I think I might just go for the hoodie, to be honest. Yeah, let's just go with the hoodie. This one or this one? We'll go with this one. I have a hoodie that looks similar, so we'll go for this one. Ah, oh, you can change the colors as well. How exciting. Uh, we don't want to go blue and blue. Pink's quite cool. Green. I don't know a green one. Red. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, we don't want to match with our... Okay, we're going to go slightly whitish. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be our thing. Oh, we're going to pick a secondary colour as well. Ah, the colour of our trousers. We're going to wear some chinos. <laughs> yeah, some chinos. Nice. All right, well, we're not going to have spots. Bum chin. <laughs> Just in case you want a bum chin. We'd be a little bit scratched up. Oh, the mud. <laughs> nah, maybe not. Beauty spots. Ah, oh, the scars. Hmm. Pretty hardcore. I definitely think we need some scars. Or oh, bruises. Let's go with some scarring. Scarring on our eye because we're pretty beasty. Glasses. Well, I don't wear glasses, so we'll go about. There we go. That was easy customization. There's actually quite a lot of customization to be done, and I think you unlock more things, so. Let's have a little listen to the story then. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? 
They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hon, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know yeah, it's a big change cool. for all of us, but son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good. He doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Okie dokie. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, we love you too. Now, why do you look so angry? That's the used to us right now. Alright, so we're in. New kid in town. Why is there a mouse hole? So we can use the L stick to walk around. It's pretty, it looks exactly like the show, which is, I think is amazing. So this is like a little storage thing. That makes sense, I suppose. I guess at the moment we're not really playing the RPG because the whole point is like it's LARPing. It's like a LARPing experience. So. Although we can, oh no, we, maybe we can. Oh, some cash and baseball cards. Exactly what we were looking for. And the Terrence and Philip backpack. Yeah, buddy. Okay, computer stuff, toys, clothes. Todd. Oh, tools. I was gonna say, what? Toddlers? You keep toddlers in a box, you sicko! You absolute sicko! Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything to really pick up in here. Bedroom, toys. Let's check out this room. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. I wonder what our parents are doing in there. Is it the toilet? Ah, so we can take a dump. I've, I've seen someone do this before. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Hey, where are you from? Hey, I'm from a random place, but right, we're gonna check out this house. Oh, it's locked. All oh, right, we can press B to run. Oh, that's pretty useful. We don't talk, but. Why are you wearing your hair like that? What a douche! What's wrong with my hair? All right, Cartman, we've come for you. All hail the Grand Wizard! So you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King, but the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. All right, let's look into the human kingdom, I guess. Yo. Ooh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. She's not part of the game. That's hilarious. All right, I'm going to try again. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. <laughs> oh, man. The third wall has been broken already. Why has that chicken got breasts? Interesting. Typical South Park humor, I suppose. I should move the fucking mouse up the middle of the to the screen. kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. The power here, of, of diabetes. Course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. That's alright. Alright, can we get a weapon or is that not allowed? I guess we haven't my deeds, That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. Oh, cool. So we got a new friend. So we talk to him and get friends. As incurable as my diabetes. Cool. The power of diabetes. The Grand Wizard would hold snacks if we talk off script. Stick to your lines. No, be careful. The Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. I see. The Rock of Insanity. Pool of Vision. Can I have a look at the Pool of Vision? I want to see Vision. No, okay. Apparently not. Apparently that's not allowed. This kingdom is very small. I have a feeling that there should be more people. Well, this we have a little view of Behold South Park. Behold the distant realm of downtown, home of corrupt merchant lords and homeless people. Ah, yes, the corrupt and homeless. Two of the worst, two of the very worst. All right, let's have a little look to the right. Wizard stump. All right, wizard stump. Okay, right, let's just carry on. I guess we need to get pick our class and stuff. Not to die. You have All been right. sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Alright, so thy name is, well, we'll go with a classic. Tado. Tado. That's me. That is you definitely entered me. You Douchebag, is that correct? No. Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Uh, no. Very well, Douchebag. <laughs> you will now choose a class. Fighter, Mage, Thief, or Jew. Alright, so maybe we pick our little class. Cool. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. <laughs> a mage is like a wizard, but just not as cool. You, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. A All right, white I, thief? I've, I've never heard of one, but interesting. I've had a had a little think about this, and I, the way I see it, everyone is going to pick the Jew class, right? And I feel like if you're playing this game, you're going to pick the Jew class. So I don't really like want to pick the Jew not class. As cool. A fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. So I'm gonna go wizard, with the thief. You look sneaky I think. enough to be a thief. Yeah, thief it is. Let's have a go at the we thief. I haven't seen anyone playing this. I've only seen thief. people playing. Hooray! These. Now please go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon, and we shall teach you to fight. All right, perfect. But first, I want to talk to Princess Kenny and get a friend. Translation: My name is Princess Kenny. Lada. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two. All right, let's buy ourselves a weapon. Yeah, at the moment, we can only afford the rogue's dagger for two. Why can't we get? Oh, I see the warrior blade. Of course. Ah, a lovely purchase. Ah, thank you, thank you, Mr. Clyde. That is very kind of you. Weapon strap. Don't let it bother you that there's a game to be played. All right, how do I equip this? Okay, we go to our inventory and press equip. Easy peasy. There we ah, go, you our weapon. Procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. But he's level 14. I'm only level 1. How is this fair? I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, oh, you have to wait your team. turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. 
Alrighty, okay, how do we do that? Alright, here we go. So, yeah, so it's a little turn based battle system. A bit like Pokemon. And smash his face in. Die, Clyde, die! Oh. That all nice. you got? Oh my god, it's butters all over again. Okay, look, try putting your back into it at the last possible moment. Alright, we're gonna try hitting him a bit harder. Ah. Heck! Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch! Yeah! Right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. I'm pretty sure in laughing you don't actually hit people. Alright, we we'll press X. Ugh. Oh, I missed it. I dodged that. No, you didn't. Attack, douchebag. You need to really hurt Clyde. I did it. Okay, we're gonna really hurt Clyde. Ah. There oh, we shit, go. Dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Protect my bows. Okay. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Oh damn! Oh, I no, did no, not I react quickly enough to that. Your bows. Gotta protect my balls! I gotta protect my balls! Ouch. Oh my word! I suck. No, that's not blocking. That's sucking. Try again. Yes, thank you, Carmen. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You only reduce the damage by a little bit, though. It's not very much. All right, blocking reduces some, though well, not all damage. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your thief ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. All right, what's our thief ability then? Backstab. Step it through the last enemy in a row, dealing heavy damage, and if done successfully, Come eating on, as well. Dick. Ow. That was a lot of damage. Wait, what, a lot of blood. Of stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. Suck it. Oh, uh. I failed. Oh, I failed to block again. I failed to block twice in a row. I mean, him bleed though. He's bleeding. All right, better die, Clyde. You're down. <laughs> I think I actually killed him. <laughs> Clyde is dead, everybody. He's going to heaven. Or hell, or <laughs> wherever Clyde Dude, goes. That was Awesome. You were all like, beam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent, and I shall let you see the relic. The stick of truth shall be mine. I'm sorry, Clyde, are you okay? Like to see my wares, weary he crap? seems okay. He's Perhaps you would like to hear not better at all. For $2? Oh, screw you. Come on, rumors. All right, we're going inside. I think Kenny's our friend. Find a flower for Kenny. All right, we have a little quest. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The, the stick, stick of truth. truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week, four dollars of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! Alarm, alarm, alarm! What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive position! The elves appear to have a, a great, a lot greater numbers than us humans, but that's okay, I suppose. Can we just take the stick? No. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I wonder what Cartman would do. Well, we just beat him up. Alright, I wonder what level Cartman is. He didn't actually say. I don't know if the levels actually matter at all, because apparently Clive was level 14 and he still got his ass kicked by us. Oh, little, little rookie thief. Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Oh, you want Alrighty. to Help! Try to die, Elf <laughs> Man. How do I fight him? There you go. Alright, you press X to fight. Okay, got it. Oh, there's two of them. Well, do it, douchebag. Kick these elves' asses! <laughs> Why is Carmen always the ref? What is this? You're mine now! Let's get it. Yeah. Will heal you. Here. Nice block. That's not a potion. Oh, you didn't even throw it. All right, we're gonna use potion. Okay, apparently I have to use a potion. All right, we'll just quickly eat some crisps, heal ourselves up. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. Ah, this guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. All right, there we go. Yeah. Oh man, I suck. Well, if this job doesn't work out, at least you've got a future as a training dummy. Come on, get it right. Okay. Oh, he's gonna go again? Oh no. 
Well, I got one of them. I said block, not get nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. Calvin, you're a dick. Oh, we already knew that, really. Ah! Oh my word. I said block, not get nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. Oh, you actually have a lot of time. The window for blocking Die, is actually asshole. a lot bigger than I thought. Oh man. <laughs> not big enough though, apparently. I said block, not get nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. I got this Fuck this you. time. Okay, there you block go. all the attacks, you get a counter-attack! Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless! Kick the shit out of him! Alright, we did it. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass! Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King! Alrighty. Nice, I stuck my knife up his ass. And... Alright, let's use our ability. Backstab a rune. Oh man, well, we one shot him. Nice. We kick his ass, almost. So let's finish him off with a little attack. Attack to the face. Great job, douchebag. Nice, so we get regain our PP as well. So that's the end of that fight. Jesus Christ! Alright, we take all the health potions, shattered arrow, all the all the nice stuff. We only got one XP for that. Oh, Butters, we'll save you! I love Butters, he's a great character as well. And there we go, Elf, prepare you yourself. You're mine now. It reposts. Okay, you what want is some that? Of this? Oh, no. What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. Alright, it's my go. Ah, oh, bow sucking. Nice. Oh. Okay, apparently this is still tutorial. Oh, the repost. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. Enemies in repost stance can counter melee weapon attacks. Use arrows or abilities against them. You need to them. try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Alright, apparently we're allowed to use arrows, which seems okay to me. Alright. Boom, sucking. Okay, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. Uh, yeah, Whoa. Please, that's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. Take that! Reflecting. Careful, mm. douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Alright, so let's try melee attacking. Or stabbing him in the back, because it's not violent at all. I love how we get our uh, proper, like, knife looking thing and just ridiculously stab him. Too soon, apparently, damn. Too soon, too soon. Let's try stabbing him again. There we go, that's better. That's a lot of damage. Great job, douchebag! Nice. Alright. We're getting used to the combat system now. Hooray, Butters, we saved your ass. Now give me items. I love how they're actually like lying on the floor after they get beaten up. It's like they just lie there helpless. Ugh, die, dummy, die! I'm pretty sure that's not. I will, I will, I will. I love how Cartman doesn't fight. I'm pretty sure you can make him join your party or something. I'm not no, sure. kitty, fight back! That's a bad kitty. Kitty, you gotta fight. Don't worry, I'll save the kitty too. Let's do this, douchebag. I'm pretty sure I'm ready for this now. We're posting. All right. Shielded? Ah, oh, what's that do? Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Okie dokie. We're gonna try breaking down the shield guy. Ah, oh, that was that easy. Guy, do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Okie dokie. Bam. Now finish him. Now. Oh, I did one damage? I think I failed my the timing of that second attack, but okay. Bam! Alright, getting used to the combat. It's pretty easy, pretty standard. Just press the buttons when you need to. Very much like Mario and Luigi. Drow elves, kind of fall RPGs. back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. God that was damn. your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah! Go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, if you can make me a douchebag, like you sure can fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen. 
And we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! Anything but sixth graders. Oh, we're level two! What does that mean? What is this? Come here! Okay, so we got a little look at the existing cell phone. So it seems that Scott Melkinson is now part of. He's now the blacksmith, because, you know, YOLO. I have a new friend called Scott Melkinson. But we don't have Clive as a friend. I thought we had him, but apparently not. Oh, what's this new ability? Mug! Stuns your target on perfect success and then steals an item from their inventory. That sounds ridiculously OP. Let's get a little stun. Alright, cool. So we unlocked Mug now. The Timmy Express. Alright, we got lots of little things unlocking for us right now. Alright, so we got Butters in our party. But you, you want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to kick some ass. Good, I'm glad. I'm gonna take this flower. Oh, we got a quest item. Oh, no, I need to give it to Kenny. Kenny, I got your flower. All right, let's take all of these. Kenny, I'm coming. Hello, princess. Uh, friend request from Kenny. Yeah, buddy. All right, quest complete. Nice. There's a lost item, Daft Deal. That's fine, because we gave it to Kenny. I'm going to smash some logs and see if we find anything exciting. So we have a little look at our quest quickly. So what do we have? We have look for the greatest warriors and look all the flags in fast travel and turf. Okay. So that's something we couldn't do later on. We will call it a day there for now. Thank you very much for joining me on this one. And we will be back with more South Park questing LARPing adventures next time. Till then, good night.